A years-long study of the health of Bear Lake is underway right now, and some organizations are really hoping here that the data used could help protect the lake in the future. Monitoring stations are taking some real-time da data on the health of the lake. This specialist Mike Anderson explains now how the whole thing works. Say, hey, Mike. There are two of these stations keeping an eye on conditions at the lake, and part of it is to help with water management, but also in hopes that they'll have the data in the future needed to better protect the lake. Water is a precious resource, and so is Bear Lake. And right now, two platforms like this are helping scientists and others keep an eye on the health of the lake. It captured the big water inflow, so some of the impacts of sediment and nutrients on the platform. Um, which is one of the things we hope it will show. David Cottle is a member and former executive director of Bear Lake Watch, a local group dedicated to the better health and future of the lake. The Great Salt Lake's in crisis, Utah Lake's in crisis. Bear Lake is changing. They see what's happening to Utah's other big bodies of water and want to make sure that doesn't happen here. It's why they helped push for these platforms, finding organizations to help with the funding. They're maintained by the U.S. Geological Survey and have so far gathered six years of data. The program could end later this year. We're using it for our, to develop you know, our models to help refine the water budget. Mike Hess, a hydrologist with the USGS, says the data is mainly there for water managers as the area faces increasing population and needs for water. But other participating groups like Bear Lake Watch will likely have their own uses for the troves of data. Yeah, it's just also of interest for the, the public out there. They can monitor various parameters. And he says it's helped keep an eye on the impact of our two very big water years as platforms watch for changes in depth, evaporation, and water quality. If nothing else, Cottle says they'll have a snapshot of the lake over the six to seven years in case conditions change in the future. And we want to establish the scientific background to say we need help to prevent it from going any further. And Bear Lake Watch is working with the USGS to put together a public presentation of the six years of data, what it all means. That'll be coming up later this year. Mike Anderson, KSL 5 News.